there was a Chinese record that the, where the title was in actual Chinese characters and we had to track it down. What the hell? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah. I remember back in the days. This is how this process works for DJing a VFL's fashion show. Maybe two days before the show, I get an email with music references from these designers. Sometimes it's not specific songs that they want. Sometimes it's just like a vibe. This one is particularly uh, eclectic. A Rammstein live record. A Sesame Street record. The Oinker Sisters. Designers are kind of like a little bit more on the emotional, abstract side. They'll give me a reference that's like literally a soundscape. To think of like what the intention is and suggest other songs, you know, that hopefully satisfy what they're looking for, but that have some sort of beat. And that's it. Done. But we're not you saw wait. I added another song. Yeah. I'll just go to that quicker. All right. All right. All right. Is everyone ready? Yes. I'm going to keep. She's the best. I'm going to go backstage first. I'm talking to you, but it's fine. Oh. <laughs> there was a country record, and I was like, if we play this on the big system of Barclays Center, it's just not going to resonate, so I added a drum beat to it. I always end up adding other songs on the fly that have a similar vibe to what they're looking for, but again, that have more of a beat. And literally, as they open doors, we'll be scrambling to find songs. I picked songs to add. I'm not even reconvening with them to see if they're happy. The big boss said that if someone was unhappy, we would have known. So we're just gonna dive in and play with that whatever the hell I selected. Who knows, but we're gonna make it work. And create your own style. You know why? It's for that good old house music. You gotta feel the funk. And create your own style. 